Okay, we're back here on Mensch Life, January the 5th. Uh, you heard from Miguel Hecht. We have now with us on the phone, on his way to Denver, Colorado, currently in Kansas, we have Steve Chase, the traveling tzaddik. Steve, how are you? Uh, Shim, thank God. It's a good morning here in Kansas. Well, we're, we're very happy to uh, have you with us. And uh, I'll just let people know I found uh, Steve... Uh, on Facebook. It seems to be an amazing place where you can uh, find all kinds of wonderful things about uh, Jewish issues, Jewish people, as well as other things. And you're looking at some photos from Steve. Um, Steve is uh, is a truck driver. Uh, he drives truck. I think that's the right way we say it. You don't say you drive a truck. You're supposed to say you drive truck. And Steve is an Orthodox Jew, and he's known as the traveling Tzaddik. He covers all of the United States and Canada, uh, currently on his way to uh, Denver, Denver, Colorado. So, Steve, uh, thanks for joining us. It's, uh, it's great to, uh, to have you with us. Tell us, tell us how long you've been, uh, you've been driving truck and how long you've been an Orthodox Jew. I've been driving trucks close to 15 years now. I've covered about close to 3 million miles. And in 2001 to 2002, I started becoming an Orthodox Jew. I see. Okay, so so what led to your becoming an Orthodox Jew? How did it happen for you, uh, Steve? Well, when my when my mother died, I wanted answers. Okay. And it brought me closer to my religion of Judaism. Okay, so you you wanted some answers, and uh, so what happened? I know you mentioned that you you started listening to these tapes by Rabbi Rabbi. Noah Weinberg, who I believe is the founder of Asia Torah. And how, yes, sir. Uh, I, I, I was actually in Virginia and Connecticut. I had spoke to different rabbis on my way traveling. And one rabbi told me I should listen to 40 Ways to Wisdom by right. Rabbi Noah Weinberg. Right. And he started an organization called Asia Torah. Right. And he was a wonderful rabbi. The, I wasn't a knowledgeable, educated Jew like most people. And what I found interesting, he was down to earth, could speak on anybody's level. Right. So he explained things in, in, a, in, a, in a basic way that, that anybody could understand. Yes, sir. And he was very humorous at the same time. Okay, gotcha. So, so what's it like for you on the road, Steve? I mean, are you able to find services on Shabbos and, and uh, yes, find time yes, to dove yes, in and so yes, on? Yes, yes sir. Uh, services, I call the sh sh shul about three weeks to a month in advance and let people know I'm coming in town. I need hospitality. I need a Shabbos place. And I've been doing this close to uh, 2002. And never had a problem. They've always been welcome communities to me. And it's, to me, it's a, a gift from Hashem to know there's, all, there's people out there that care. Steve, have you ever been to Israel? Yes, sir. I've been to Israel three, close to four times now. And, uh, I mean, you ever thought about uh, driving truck in Israel? Is that a possibility? Maybe I, would love, I would love to travel to Israel and drive trucks to Israel. At the moment, I'm still considering that. Uh, hopefully, when I do settle down and find the right wife, right, I will be able to settle down and move to Israel. That is my that's my ultimate dream. Okay, well, you never know. You might you might find the wife in Israel. That's true. You never know. One never knows. I, I was in Israel recently. I met a couple that uh, were making Aliyah. They met on the plane. If they were from two wow. di two different cities. One I can't remember the cities, but from two different cities in the U.S., they met on the plane, and uh, by the time I, I found them, they were together uh, in Israel on an ulpan, and uh, and they were uh, a, a lovely young couple. It's a wonderful uh, romantic story. So it's a, it's a it's a blessing from Hashem. It's absolutely it is a blessing uh, from Hashem. Every, every morning when I wake up, I I see a blessing. From Hashem, and every night when I when I sleep, I see a blessing from Hashem, knowing there are communities out there, and that's why I started the, the traveling exotic. 
Well, that's the right thing to do, uh, Steve, because we have to be very thankful for all the good things that we have in our life. It's very easy to uh, to think about the negative things and to focus on the negative things. So, so it sounds like uh, it sounds like you're you're making all the right moves. And uh, and I want to thank you very much for being with us today. We'd like to check in with you from time to time and see yes, see how things are going uh, on the road. In the meantime, drive very safely. And I'm going to encourage people to go on, if they're on Facebook, look up uh, either Steve Chase or the Traveling Tzaddik. And uh, you also send out these uh, weekly um, emails with pictures from the different cities that you are that you're visiting and and so people can can follow you and and see what's happening on the road yes sir it's just a way of me saying thank you for for being a friend and it's a i once you met a rabbi and the rabbi told me if you always say the shabbos to somebody yes so it has their shabbos as well as yours well, that's a, that's a good thought. So it's it's a little early on Tuesday to say good Shabbos, but uh, but we love hearing your uh, your Shabbos emails. Just bef- getting your Shabbos emails and your photos. So keep up the fantastic work, uh, Steve, and we'll look forward to talking to you very soon. Okay, thank you so much. Okay, bye for now. Okay, bye bye. Okay, so there you have it. That was the uh, traveling tzaddik, Steve Chase, on the road. Check him out on um, on Facebooks, and uh, he'll send you these terrific emails. He's got some great photos there too. He he takes pictures and uh, does some some great stuff.